day three. Still not figured out to work out the camera and stuff like that. I'm just cooked to feed the animals, if I'm honest. Absolutely knackered today, but no energy. I think at the minute we should all be listening to our bodies, so I'm just going to come up, feed them, and go and figure out how to get the uh, cameras and stuff working. I'd love to be out today, but zero energy. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, hope you're all having a good day indoors. I'm going to come and join you shortly, I suppose. Well, the geese are out and about wandering. Well, yeah, hope you have a good day. Well, I couldn't help myself. Uh, yeah, rotavator works. So it's got that, this to do. Some nettles and stuff that need digging out first, but this is a bit of a fairly clear ground. But yeah, I think that's be tomorrow's job. It was meant to be today's job, but bloody hell. Now nah, I've, I've not got the energy. Ten minutes has killed me. So let's go get all the seeds delivered to mother, and then she can start planting them, and then we can get the greenhouses filled, and then yeah. Happy days, but today is a day of learning how to use computers. It truly is the end of the world. Anyway, I will speak to you a bit. Bye bye. So, I thought I'd give you some idea as to what we're thinking of growing. We've got some shallot potatoes there, some Mar um, Paris Pier, and then Maris Piper. There's some sunflower seeds, Niger seeds, mixed bird seeds, because that's got a bit of everything in and just see what grows. These are a little bit old, but uh, let's see what happens. We've got garlic, red onion, white onion, asparagus, lots of strawberries and ginger there we've got a pile of different types of carrots um that spring onion artichoke uh lots of different types of lettuce cabbage pointer all of these ones are all brand new so they should all grow we've got brussels sprouts normal onion uh, sorted beetroot chilies um what's called a sort of green manure so it's basically so you grow it then you plow it back in to re-fertilize your soil so we've got some of that uh, Golden beetroot, normal beetroot, we've got petit foie, uh, mange to, uh, da -da -da, broad beans, and then we've got normal peas, we've got tomatoes, there's another three different types of tomato the mum's put in, and then another two that are there. Pumpkin, broccoli, watercress, two packets of, cauliflower, three different types of parsnip, broccoli, cucumber, done beetroots, da da da. Thyme, uh, thyme's good, it's got a, it's antibacterial, it's thymol, it's, uh, yeah, it's good, so thyme's good. Dill, coriander, a few bits of parsley, uh, spinach, beet, chives, basil. Basil is actually really good because uh, slugs and snails love it. So it's good as a sort of a sacrificial plant. And you, if you go into Tesco, place like that, the big pots of basil that they have, they've got like 50 different plants in. And that's why they grow and then die. Whereas if you split them out, you can use, like, you've got like 10 different plants in there. You can use them as sacrificial next to your tomatoes and then just keep one of them to grow for yourself. But anyway, then there's turnips, uh, so we've got that. So, a little bit of a crazy plan. I have brought everything down to, to Mother to do things. Everything's laid out in the sun, has been out for ages, in order to ensure that it's sterilised. I'm not ill, I've got no symptoms. Yes, I'm tired, but I've had that for a couple of months. I think it's one of these flu bugs that's been going around. But uh, yeah, it's all laid out. So this sheeting and that pipe is going to make all of the tops of these tables be turned into little greenhouses so we can grow all this stuff. These are all the trays and plants and, well, pots and stuff like that I brought out for mum. Uh, and she's going to concentrate on doing that while I do the infrastructure work slash go home, curl up and die. Elder there. Um, looks like it's a pile of brush, but actually um, this is what you use to start fires by hand. Um, so you get a nice little straight section, like say that little bit there, that's you know old and seasoned and everything like that. And you couple that up with, uh, sorry, not that one, that bit there, a little bit thinner. So because it's got a soft pith um, and a hard outer, increases friction. You use that in conjunction with clematis, which most of you will have in your garden. A uh, good thick chunky bit, bit woody. That rub it together, and that's how you actually start a fire by hand. Uh, just in case it gets that deep and dark, but yes, um, I do have a pint. I have been down. I'm down at the pub. They've not sold me it. Don't worry, I haven't paid for it. And if you notice, in order to ensure that there's no cross contamination, I'm going that way. They serve me in that. I put it into my glass. Got some food. Everything's staying outside, so it's UV sterilised. There's the pipe that'll be used to turn everything into there. There's the bits of wood. That's some waste from Mathers. They'll be used to batten it down and. Yeah, 